Meghan Markle and Princess Diana both reportedly organized a hen party for their best friends before they married into the royal family, but while one was extremely rowdy and wild, the other distinguished itself for its very low-key nature. In 2016, one of Meghan Markle's best friends, Lindsay Roth, asked her to be her maid of honor at her wedding. The Duchess, who had recently met Prince Harry for the first time, was reportedly nervous about her maid of honor duties, which included organizing the hen party. According to her lifestyle website, The Tig, which she closed down in 2017, the former actress did not like the idea of running around a city trying to get into clubs and wearing headbands of the phallic persuasion. Writing on her blog, Meghan said, When my best friend, Lindsay, announced she and her beau would be tying the knot, the pressure I felt as maid of honor was immense. Exciting, of course, but immense, especially when it came to a bachelorette party. Because the thought of running around a city trying to get into clubs and wearing headbands of the phallic persuasion didn't seem very on brand for us, I opted instead to woo the bride to be with a more low key stay get. Now splitting half her time in London, it was easy for Linz to have a European weekend jaunt, so along with our friend Lucy, we ventured off to the sleepy chic island of Hydra. It's a two-hour ferry from Athens and a little rock trapped in time with the only mode of transportation being bikes or donkeys. Meghan admitted there was not much to do on the island, but she claimed it was perfect for their getaway. She added, there is something wholly cathartic about being able to turn it all off, to sunbathe with no one watching, swim in the briny Mediterranean Sea, eat copious amounts of Greek salads and fried red mullets, and toast to the day. There's not much to do on Hydra, and maybe that's the point. You can stroll around the town center or dip into small tavernas for tzatziki and uzo. Take a swim, then a nap, hike back to your hotel or apartment. Rinse and repeat. Meghan's idea of a dream hen party is undoubtedly very different to what Princess Diana reportedly organized for her sister in law Sarah Ferguson. Reports from 1986 claim that the Princess of Wales, her future sister-in-law and two friends dressed up in police uniforms for the night as they were planning to crash Prince Andrew Stag do and stage a police raid. However, they instead decided to go to a famous London nightclub, Annabelle's, where they got mistaken for kissograms girls who dress up as a character, go to parties and kiss people. Louis Louis, the manager of the club, said, for a moment it must have seemed like a police raid. Then guests obviously decided they were kiss o ram girls. One of the staff told them that one or even two kiss o gram girls might be alright but four of them was a bit of an embarrassment to others. One of the four apologized for the fact that there were so many of them and promised we'll be leaving soon. They were perfectly disguised and certainly had us fooled. According to Town & Country magazine, the soon-to-be Duchess and the Princess of Wales did not just get in trouble in the club for wearing their costumes but also outside Buckingham Palace. The group was reportedly questioned by the authorities as it is an offence to impersonate a police officer. The magazine also reported that Fergie and Diana pulled a prank on Prince Andrew, locking the husbands to be out of the palace gates as he returned from his stag do, 